This video tutorial will guide you with OHIP validation and EDT. This video will cover the following topics. Required setup for OHIP, verifying OHIP eligibility individually and by batch, creating an exam for a new or existing patient, creating an order for patient billable charges, creating an OHIP claim for electronic submission, changing the status of a claim, downloading an error report, correcting claim errors and setting for resubmission, confirmation of claims submitted, downloading a remittance advice report, and managing OHIP claims. Required setup with My Vision Express for OHIP billing. Start by going to File, Setup, Company. Under the Location tab, in the Insurance section, select OHIP from the drop-down. Once OHIP is selected, you will have the option to delete existing location services and insurance companies that My Vision Express comes with. The system will automatically add all OHIP billable services and fee schedules. Once you are done, go to the Systems tab. Under the Insurance section, select the Claim Save to folder. This folder will serve as your backup where you can save your claims. All changes done to company information are required to be saved and the system restarted in order for the changes to take effect. Now you can go to File, Setup, Physician Resource in-house. Select the Add button on the right and enter all of the information for the physician as registered with the Ministry of Health. The following fields are required for OHIP submission. First name, last name, license number, office code, registry number, group number, and an HCV username and password needed for electronic claim submission. Once you are done entering this information, make sure you save and close the window and you will now be ready to start billing OHIP insurance using My Vision Express. Verifying OHIP eligibility individually and by batch. You can now do this with HC validation. This new service verifies the patient health card directly with the Ministry of Health. To verify the patient eligibility individually, go to the patient profile. In the health card field, select the ellipsis button on the right and swipe the patient's card. This will automatically verify the eligibility directly with the Ministry of Health and any messages regarding this health card will pop up. Make sure that the following fields are also valid. Patient's first and last name, address, birthday, and gender. You can now also verify the patient eligibility from the calendar when scheduling the appointment. Once you select the service, click on the button next to eligibility which is the icon with the check mark. If there are any messages from the ministry about the health card, a message will automatically pop up. To check the eligibility for several patients at the same time, you can choose the batch method from the calendar module. Click on the eligibility button at the top of the calendar. This will open a window where a physician and a date range of appointments can be selected. Once you are done, select the search button. When the appointments for eligibility check are shown, just select the eligibility button and all the appointments will be checked. The eligibility field will be filled with yes or no depending on the results. You can also obtain more information by clicking the eligibility details button creating an exam for a patient. You can open an exam by selecting the exam icon located at the top toolbar. You can also select the exam button in the appointment window for the patient you have scheduled an appointment for. Once you select the exam button, this will open up a window where you can select a template for the exam or you can select no template button to show all of the exam tabs. Under the Assessment tab in the Exam module, the necessary information will be the exam diagnosis and the procedure or service code. 
If you want to add a diagnosis, select the Add button on the right hand side. The Diagnosis window will open, allowing you to search for the diagnosis you need for this exam. Notice that the procedure automatically populates into the exam from the calendar appointment. You will also be able to add any notes under the Notes column. Linking an order to an exam. In some cases, patients want to purchase something in addition to their covered OHIP exam. You can create an order and add the exam to that order by doing the following. Open the orders module and select the patient. You can change the order type to the one that specifies for the type of order you are going to make. In this particular case, spectacle lenses. Add the frame, lenses, and any additional item that the patient wants to the order. You can then link the exam to the order by clicking on the exam button from the order screen. This will open the Import Exam Charges and Diagnosis window. Here, you will select the exam you want to be linked to the order. Once the exam is selected, it will populate the exam charges, the diagnosis, and the exam ID into the order. Any non-billable charges will be the patient's responsibility and will be excluded from the claim submission. Creating a claim for OHIP electronic submission. To create a claim for OHIP, go to File, Batch, OHIP, Submit Claims. Select the physician from the Physician drop-down list. Click on the Create Claims button and this will create a claim for any unbilled OHIP services. Any errors that need to be addressed prior to submitting the claim will be shown under the review column. You can double click on the error and it will open the exam module. If the corrections need to be made under the exam, you can go ahead and make the corrections needed here. Or you can open the patient profile from the exam to make any corrections needed in the patient profile. Once you have made the corrections needed and saved, it will ask if you would like to update the order and it will also ask you if you would like to change the status of the order to ready. Now that you have made the corrections needed, go back to the submit claims window and refresh your claims list. Once you refresh, the review column that had the arrow will now be blank and you are ready to submit the claim by clicking on the Submit Claims button at the bottom of the page. Once the claim has been submitted electronically, you will get a confirmation of the submission file and you will also be given the option to print a submission report. Changing the status of a claim. A claim submission status can be changed from the Submit Claims screen under the Status column. For example, if you're not ready to submit a claim, change the status to on hold. This will allow you to submit the claim at a later time. When you change the status, you will be asked to verify the change. You can also change the status of a claim from the order screen using the more button. Under the more details tab, you can change the claim status. Downloading an error report. You can download an error report by going to File, Batch, OHIP, Error Reports. Select the physician from the Physician drop-down list. You can then select the Get List button. This will open up a window for error reports. Select the report you want to download into My Vision Express from the Ministry of Health's website and their errors will be listed under the Error Code column. Correcting claim errors and setting for resubmission. Once you have downloaded the error report, you can fix the errors by double-clicking on the error listed under the error code column. 
This will open up the exam. If the corrections needed to be made are under the exam, make your corrections needed here. Or you can open the patient profile from the exam to make any corrections needed. Once you save, you will be asked to update the order and to change the claim status to ready. Now that your errors have been corrected, you can go to File, Batch, OHIP, Submit Claims. Refresh the claims list and you will see the new ready status. Submit the claim by selecting the Submit Claims button at the bottom of the page. Confirmation of claims submitted. To get the confirmation of the claims that have already been submitted, you can go to File, Batch, OHIP, Claims Batch Acknowledgement. Select the physician from the physician drop-down list. Then you can select the Get List button on the right. This will open the Batch Edit Report window. Here you can select the report that you want to download into My Vision Express. Downloading a Remittance Advice Report. Go to File, Batch, OHIP, Reconciliations. Select the physician from the Physician drop-down list and then select the Get List button on the right. The Remittance Advice list will open where you can select the remittance advice you want to download into My Vision Express. Managing OHIP Claims. Go to File, Batch, OHIP, Manage Claims. This will open a window where you can view all existing generated claims by physician or by the claim submission status. Once you use the filters, hit the search button you will generate a list using those filters and this will show the details of the claims. This concludes a video tutorial on OHIP validation and EDT.